Fans paid to see their favorite artists at a legendary Texas venue. Yeah, but when the festival was suddenly canceled, customers had to fight to get all their money back. So they picked up the phone and they called the ones for justice. Not only did we help nine people get their money back, our reporting prompted this concert venue to take action in hopes this never happens again. <laughs> It was an event that brought historic acts to a historic venue. You're watching footage from Music Fest 2018, which featured big names like The Temptations and The Whispers. The festival took place at South Fork Ranch, better known to some as the site for the hit TV show Dallas. So when Music Fest 2019 was announced last year, Christine Johnson bought tickets for all her friends, $911 in all. And it was a lot of old school artists like the Shy Lights and Blue Magic. But in July, music event productions canceled the festival due to low ticket sales. In an email, the organizer, James Watson Jr., promised refunds. The next week, I sent another email to back to that same email address and no response. No response, no response, no response. And that date came, checked my account, no refund. This is Veronica Taylor. She, too, found herself waiting on money from Watson. It was some blues singers that me and my dad liked to see. We like blues, so we really wanted to see them. To make matters worse, they were still waiting on refunds when Watson announced plans for Music Fest 2020 online. It's just like, I took your money, I'm going on, and then to hear that they're doing another event that I want people to know so people don't fall for it. And as the ones for justice discovered, James Watson Jr. has a history of flawed festivals. He served prison time in 2011 for conspiracy to commit bank fraud. After prosecutors say Watson duped investors of a concert he had organized in Houston in 2008. At the time, Watson was on probation for his role in another festival in Sacramento. And the people that came today. Watson openly admits to his past, even writing about it on his website. In a letter, a spokesperson writes certain refunds were not made due to miscommunication and measures were taken to address the matter. But music fans want to warn others. And I just want people to know so they don't lose their money and be out of money like me and my dad. Just days after we contacted Watson, the music promoter refunded both Johnson and Taylor, nine tickets in all. We also learned because of all of this, South Fork Ranch has decided to cancel Music Fest 2020 altogether. They say they refuse to do business with him in the future. Watson declined to sit down with us on camera, but he did say that no tickets for 2020 were sold. Okay. Well, I'm glad you were able to help those uh, folks out because uh, they were getting quite frustrated there. It was almost a year. Uh, several it. months they were waiting, so I'm glad we could get their money back. Strong work, Alana. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Well, if you have a situation that you would like the Once for Justice team to look into, all you have to do, as you just saw, is give them a call. 817-586-7211. That's the number. Also, you can drop them an email justice at cbs.com.